hello everyone this is lucky and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section so in this video i'll be demonstrating or showing you step by step process on how to upload your files your folders and your documents to your google drive now there are two basic reasons why you might want to do this in case if you lose your phone you might still have all your files backed up on your google drive so at the same time you can restore them back on your phone so one of the second reason why you may want to do this is that you can actually restore your files back from another person's phone or another person's system as long as you have your google account and uh, the password to access it so let's now dive in into the tutorial So the first thing you're going to do is to locate the, the drive application. If you don't have this application installed on your phone, what you need to do is just to go to Google Play Store and you download and install it. So when you open it, this is the, the dashboard here. So what you're going to do is to come to this uh, addition sign here. So when you click on this addition sign, basically you are going to upload a new file on your drive. So let's click on it now so as you can see here it's asking me if i want to upload a folder if i want to upload if i want to scan a, a document to my google drive if i want to work with a uh, google docs if i want to work with google sheets if i want to work with google slides so there are a lot of uh, good options here so but the major place you are going to be looking at this point is to upload a file to our google drive so i'll just click on upload and from here i will select the file type that i want to upload remember like i said you can upload the video file audio file image file and a lot of files so here let's upload an image file in this in your case now so i'll just click on probably i want to upload this i'll just select i'll select this and then you get the notification that one file will be uploaded just slide down the notification bar and move down to this place so now because of because of this under the normal setting now this google drive is set in a way that you can only upload a file to your google drive if you are connected to a wi-fi network so but here we are going to be using our mobile internet connection on your phone so we are going to set it to upload file from our mobile internet without using the normal wi-fi connection so by doing that just come to this uh, side by here and you move down to settings and then when you get to settings you come down to this place transfer transfer files only over wi-fi now this is the option we are going to we are going to uncheck this option here so when you uncheck this option here it's going to transfer file both when you are connected to a wi-fi network and when you are working with your mobile network so let's uncheck this option and click on ok so so i'll slide down and then move up again and uh, this is the file i wanted to upload before i'll just click on resume as you can see here it's saying waiting for wi-fi now because we've changed that settings all i need to do is just to click on resume and then the file will be uploaded it's in so this is the file that we just uploaded now this is what it's saying one file now available offline so i can just click on locate file so this is the image that we just uploaded now so you can as well check other ones here you go to recent Okay, this this particular one here because of the network i have here is very poor so it's it's waiting for for internet for the for you to load up it's waiting for network so let's go ahead and upload another file here so you just click on the addition sign you follow the same process and you click on upload so if it's a video file you're trying to upload here let's see upload an image file again now one file is being uploaded to my drive so i'll slide down the notification to check the upload uh, status so from here you can see we have successfully uploaded the file so you can just click on locate file 
and from here this is the file that we just uploaded so you can still go back and upload another one so you can just play around with this depending on what you are trying to upload so from here you can just select another image that you want to upload probably you want to upload this one again you just click on it and then you slide on the notification to check you can see so this is the status here you can see that the file is being uploaded to google because this one has a larger size a space so that is why it's taking time it's not unlike the the other one that was just uploaded so that's why it's taking a uh, time like this to upload so so successfully uploaded that so i can see click on locate file so here is the file that is a video file so when i click on this i'll start playing the video so that is it on how to upload your files to your google drive so in case you might want to share your files and the folders that you've uploaded to your google drive this is how to do it now as you mean i want to share this file with a friend of mine all i need to do is just to select the particular file that i want to upload maybe probably i want to i want to share this particular image with a friend of mine all i need to do is just to click on this three dotted icon here and i will move down to i move down to details and the activities so from here i will just go down to who has access now you can see under the default setting is saying not shared so from here we are going to change the option so all you need to do is just to come here and you can see only people added can open with this link now this simply means that if i add people to my drive they will be able to have access to this to this particular file that i want to share so but in this case we're going to set it in a way that if we share the link with anybody the person that will share the link will be able to have access to the file so i'll just click here and uh, i will allow anyone anyone with the link you check anyone with the link so just click on it and it starts reading permission updated so we have allowed so once we share this this file now once we share this file, we want to share this file so all we need to do is just to come here and click on it and go to copy link go to copy link so we automatically copy the link so anyone with this link can actually have access to this particular uh, picture that i have here right so anyone that have this link now can access this image that i have here so maybe i want to share this with a friend of mine all i need to do is just to come here and then i'll just come here and i'll post the link here if i want to share the, that file if i want to share my that file to this group that image file to this group all i need to just to come here and then right click and click on paste so this is the the file link here you can see this is the image here so i need to just to send it now once they click on this link it's going to direct them to my google drive and they will be able to have access without being restricted you will going to have access to this particular image file that i have here all right so let me show you another thing that i want to do here so another thing i want to show you here maybe you want to download this maybe you signed in from another person's laptop or from another person's uh, phone and you may want to download this picture there so we need to just to click on the three dotted icon and you come down to this particular option here you click on download so once you click on download then the image will be downloaded to your to your gallery depending on the, the type of file maybe it's a video file it will be downloaded to the uh, download folder there so all right so that is it on how to upload your files to your google drive it's as easy as anything so from here if you want to change your accounts i didn't talk about this when i was uh, beginning this section so if you want to change your account you just click on this particular place oh i'm signing i have so many uh gmail account here so as you mean i want to change it to another account i'll just select on this or select on wizard tech i have so many accounts here so whichever one i want to use for this i will select the particular account that i want to use so but at this point the option i have here is a general service at gmail.com that is the the email that we are using to do this the driver using now remember i didn't i didn't say this again now any email any email that you create google will give you a 15 gig free 
for you to upload your file so which means you are going to have access to upload a file that up, up to 15 gig you upload your file your video and everything so once the 15 gig is exhausted then you might like to go for this option buy storage but automatically any email address that you create we have a default 15 gig free storage space right so that is it all right guys so that brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial section guys if today is your first time of coming across our youtube channel i would like you to subscribe and uh, turn on the bell notification so be notified each time that we upload a new video in our channel thank you and see you in the next video and in case we are trying to do this and uh, you find it difficult or you have any question all you need to do is just to drop down your question in the comment section and uh, we'll respond to you as soon as possible all right thanks and bye for now